In 1975, a Saturn rocket will launch the final Apollo spacecraft on a flight that may well be mankind's most significant step forward. The Apollo launch will follow, by some seven and one half hours, the launch of a Soyuz spacecraft from the Soviet Union. The flight plan will call for the rendezvous and docking of these two manned spacecraft in Earth orbit, some 230 kilometers in space. This artist's concept shows the two spacecraft preparing to dock in space. The Apollo spacecraft carries a docking module. For two days, as the three American and two Russian spacemen circle the Earth together, space will be confirmed as a field of cooperative effort without man-made barriers or boundaries. The Apollo spacecraft is being prepared now for this historic mission. The primary crew members are astronauts Tom Stafford, Deke Slayton, and Vance Brand. The United States is also building the docking module, a pressure chamber with one end designed to accommodate the Soyuz docking mechanism and the other compatible with Apollo. Crews of our astronauts, engineers, and technicians have journeyed to Moscow to discuss flight plans and hardware with the Soviets. And Soviet cosmonauts and technical personnel have visited NASA centers and contractor facilities in this country, discussing details of the forthcoming flight. Both astronauts and cosmonauts are learning to speak the other's language, since the crews will visit each other's spacecraft in space. Rockwell International Space Division assembled a full-scale Apollo spacecraft and a docking module mock-up for NASA. And at the 1973 Paris Air Show, a Soyuz spacecraft was mated to the module for a joint United States-Soviet display. In 1975, tiny parts of the Soviet Union and of the United States will be locked together high above the Earth. There will be no formal boundaries, no passports required. The five men will experiment together as members of the crew of Spaceship Earth. Another step towards the use of space for the benefit of all mankind. As Spaceship Earth continues its cruise through infinity, we have come to know more about our craft than any crew that has gone before. And for this crew and those to come, the knowledge is vital. This crew has seen the limits and the isolation of the spaceship. This crew has seen the critical need for a constant inventory of those resources essential to sustain life including food, water, and the air we breathe. This crew knows the urgency of finding new sources of energy and of determining the extent of our current conventional supply. So, this crew is building the space shuttle. Shuttle will be a workhorse transportation system to help us monitor and manage our Earth from the incomparable vantage point of space. Shuttle will carry the systems and the people to use the new dimension of space for the immediate and the lasting benefit of all mankind. The shuttle will be able to carry up to 65,000 pounds of payload into orbit and the size of this huge cargo bay 
will free satellite payloads from the design constraints of present launch vehicles. Shuttle will be able to launch as many as five different satellites on one mission or recover malfunctioning satellites for in-orbit repair. It can return to Earth with as much as 16 tons of cargo. Shuttle will act as a platform for a space telescope that will reveal vast new areas of information on deep space and its relationship to spaceship Earth. And even though Shuttle is being developed by the United States, a European-developed modularized laboratory will be operated jointly in space by U.S. and international crews using the shuttle vehicle. Shuttle will deploy satellites for high-energy or geosynchronous orbits using an upper-stage tug. And shuttle will also help us continue our investigations of space by launching deep space probes. Yet, shuttle is a reusable space transportation system that will return to Earth after each space mission for service and relaunch. Shuttle is just one more of the products of modern science and technology, a tool that will help sustain man on his cruise through the universe aboard our spaceship Earth.